also just came back. It just came back. From where? He will tell you. If you're happy to be here today, put your hands together for Jesus. Yeah, it's beautiful. <clears throat> I appreciate it when I see ladies in the house. Please, if you're a lady and you're happy to be here, put your hands together for Jesus. Yeah. How many of you believe that ladies are powerful people? How many of you believe that? If you believe that women are powerful, yeah, that's true. Now, let's assume as a guy you just bought your car. Let's assume you just bought a Range Rover Sport 2013 model. And as you were driving that car, as a guy, somebody hit the car from behind. Naturally, as a guy, you will react. You hit my car, you will pay for this? It's because the person is a man like you. Let's assume you are driving that same car. And as you are going, suddenly you just hear Gosa from behind. By the time you come out to react, a lady just comes out of the car and she's like, Oh my God, I'm sorry. As a man, you just say, No, 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 no. It can happen to anybody. I'll sort it out. I'll fix it. My insurance company will fix it. It's okay. I just came to check if you are fine. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm a Yoruba guy, and I don't know if we have people that have faced this kind of challenge before. My father has always told me since I was two, my father is quite tribalistic, and he has always told me since I was two, that if you want to get married, please get married from the southwest. Mafe Yibo. My father has always told me that. How many of you have such parents? They are good. A lady had the same challenge, and, um, you know, she summoned courage one day, and she took her fiancé to her father and was like, Dad, this is the guy I've always told you about. And the Yoruba man said, how are you? The guy said, the, the guy said oh, all right, sir. So I said, well, eh? what's your name? The guy said, Bese. The man said, Bese. Oru That's a female name. My sister is Bese. My younger brother's wife's daughter is also Bese. But my sister is Ade Bese. The second one is Oye Bese. So which Bese are you? The guy said, Indu Bese. Indu. Indu Bese. <laughs> Yeah, and and imagine, imagine the girl, it was a girl that he brought home and he said, what is your name? Uh, if it's a girl, all right, she can say, um, Onyi Nisa. Onyi? Yeah. Is it Onyi Damola or you Onyi Kosola? Onyi Nyechuku Nisa. <laughs> now, I, I'm in this star and I like the fact that um, this is a kind of church where we don't stress ourselves. Am I right or wrong? Even if you want to pray, stressless prayer points. You hear prayers like, just lift your hands in worship. Tell the Lord, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. The grace in fellowship. We you don't, will not we don't share the grace. Is Joshua one it? No, Joshua. Okay, no, I'm just joking. Yes, Let him continue, please. Oh, yeah, continue, brother. In a church very close to my street, if they give you prayer points, it will sound like threat. Yes, sir. They don't pray in English. They pray in Yoruba. The pastor can just look at everybody and just say, should, ah. I, should I interpret? Please, I interpret for me. Okay. They just look at you. Ah! Aha. What that was? You will pray. Bummy dada. Listen to me very well. What does bagel do to the body of mosquito? People will say, oh man, quite on it. It used to kill it. What was so good? You will say, God. Show me the bagel. Tell me to bagel. And turn my enemies to mosquito. The pastor will now go ahead and say something like, Listen to me very well. I say you should pray. Lord, help me. You are speaking English. The thing that is doing does not understand English. Listen to me very well. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. And when Lord say, he went to the prison to feed the elderly lady before he became the president. Our former president, Olusha Gwabasanjo, he, he, he went to the prison. Joseph in the Bible, and when Lord say, he went to the prison. Oh, yeah, God, yeah, now hold your head. What's up, you will you say God? And what he might say? The prison you will go to. I said, Pastor Koleto, yeah. Koleto, yeah. Damala is my name. Thank you very That's much. Thank you, Damala. Please put your hands together for Damala once more and Dr. Shitu. 
I'm sure some of you have gone to those churches where they have to raise prayer points. Sometimes they call, they ask you to call. If there's anything I enjoyed when I got into this in 2009, it was an amazing time coming from a CAC background and they just lead prayer points and off. Where I was coming from, you lead prayer points, you call the name of Jesus seven times, call Holy Spirit seven times, call the blood of Jesus seven times, and they call the prayer point. Sometimes you have forgotten the prayer point. It's like, Oh, yeah, Jesus, one, Jesus, two, Jesus, three, Jesus, four. And you now get to a prayer point, you have forgotten your prayer point. You are forgotten them. You are shaking, you don't know what you are doing. Right? You will not ask, kill us, or you're not killing prayer point. You will not ring the bell. You will not ring the bell. You will follow You will tell God. They will not tell you to do the same thing again. Sometimes they shake their head for two hours, nothing. I'm your I shake Praise God. If in the midst of all these things you are not laughing, I'm, uh, I understand your kind. I understand. I've been privileged to see some people like you. Um, you don't laugh to jokes nice nah, when you are going home. You will not start laughing at the bus stop. <laughs> people will not start asking, Shekosi. Shekosi, you don't want so you better laugh now if you want to laugh, okay? There's no crime in laughing. Am I saying the truth? <laughs>